That does do is sponsored by Crown Royal. Live generously and life will treat you royally. Mm. We're joined now by Fox NBA analyst Jim Jackson and Dante Jones. It's time for That Dude's Dude. Marcellus, what you got? Truly a baller edition right here. We're talking about <laughs> us pounding them down in the paint versus Jim and Dante. I'll take us. Let's go with what? That Dude's three, <laughs> number three. Let him Bucks, Greek freak right here. We know the team Giannis lost to team LeBron 178-164. But your boy had 38 points, 11 rebounds, and five assists. Now, let's start things off with the LeBron brick from three. And then we see Giannis <laughs> gets the rebound. Oh, he's going to go out there and throw this ball to Jokic. This is a sports comparison here. Who's he look more like? The baseball pitcher, uh, Shohei Atani, Cam Newton, or we're going to go with the German keeper, Manuel Neuer. Oh, look at that pass right there to Jokic. Top two Euro players in the game today. Giannis is excited about it. Oh, I think it looks like the soccer player. Giannis, you know who you are. You're that dude's number three. That was Pat Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with number two. He, Dwayne Wade, Miami Vice right here. Ooh, Miami Vice. We're going to go back and reminisce right here. Team LeBron, a little love. Durant intercepts the oop. Oh. And then Dwayne Wade, you know what? He sees his boy. Remember us? Miami 305. Shout out 305. Oh, throws the oop up high for my man. LeBron to bring it down. Now let's soak this in because we've seen this before, right? Mm -hmm. mm, 2010. Man, huh? That's my man right now. Very <laughs> similar. Hey, this, Look this at that. One of the dopest pictures right here. You see that? Top or bottom, you take your pick. Oh, vintage Miami plays right here. That was vintage. Look at that right there. Wayne Wade, Ron James, Ryan Wade, Ryan James. <laughs> not two, not three, not four. Well, actually, only mm. two. Oh, we can respect <laughs> what they did right there. Four finals appearances, two titles, and actual smiles from LeBron James. We ride together, we dunk together. Bad Boys 3 is out. That dude, number two. Now, my number one. Y'all saw this. Steph Curry. Good Lord, my brother. And finally, watch this alley -oop. That might be exciting. Just because we saw it all coming. Look at the new logo of the league. Joel Embiid <laughs> intercepts that oop. Looking like the new logo. And is he going up the court? You're going to see Embiid throw it. Steph Curry, who bounces that thing. And look at the bench. Now, that's the fun squad over there. Look at all those free agents, all that tampering, all that collusion <laughs> going down. First of all, let's just Steph see this travel. bounce pass right Steph here. Travel, Ooh, he, Steph travel. How high did that go? I didn't know Greece had astronauts <laughs> going up there like that. Greek freak sword for this ball and pounded it down. Now let's, let's get the ruler out. Let's get the measurer out, because we know this was high. Steph, don't travel. All right, he bounces it high. 16.8 feet. And then where did he go to go get it? 13 feet above the rim. Brings it down. You got to I don't like those calculations. You think it was too low? The box ain't 13 feet high. <laughs> I didn't do the yeah, math. Is that right? the box? Yeah, yeah, that's you you notice KD the... got out the way, too? <laughs> you notice that, right? Everybody Smooth got, got, got out the way. Yeah. Got to. Right, yeah. That was great, Marcellus. Let's move to another guy <laughs> who was at the All-Star Weekend, Kyrie Irving, who just a couple of years ago was trying to get as far away from LeBron James as possible, but now is singing a different tune. A few weeks ago, Kyrie revealed that he apologized to LeBron for how things ended in Cleveland, and now he says he wants to build a legacy like his old teammate, saying, quote, I'm going to be that guy like Bron." who leads the next generation of superstars. Question here is, is Kyrie delusional? I say yes. Uh, <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I don't think he understands. You don't play your way into LeBron's position. You're anointed. You're chosen by the NBA and the league. They decide we're building the league around you. He, LeBron didn't play his way into it. They put him on the cover as the chosen one, and the league got behind. And his talent demanded that. But Kyrie doesn't have that kind of once-in-a-lifetime generational challenge. He'll never be LeBron. He can't. That's a, again, it's like Kevin Durant can chase all he wants. Mm. But Zion Williamson has a chance. They may choose to build the league around him, but it won't be Kyrie Irving. Mm. Those limits sound like projection, man, and the fears of individuals who say you're delusional when you think outside the box and you think that you're bigger than others expect you to be. But I'm with Kyrie. Uh, for LeBron's greatness and all of it, in totality, there's still room to even do more. If you think about what the opportunities presented, uh, LeBron doesn't win a championship every single year. LeBron's not the MVP every single year. LeBron's team this year may not even make the playoffs. So I'm not trying to poke at LeBron. I'm just saying if I'm Kyrie, I could build myself up and saying, look, 
It's going to be difficult. There are going to be obstacles for me to be the focal point of a championship team just by a style of play. But I can be a centerpiece that attracts others, and we could go, go, we could go get this. There was a time where people told Steph Curry, <laughs> some people said, don't even draft a dude. And then some people said, man, that dude's going to stay injured. Example. And then look what happened. <laughs> they were able That's to— That's another good example, though, Steph. Again, Steph, by play and by accomplishment, he should be on LeBron's level. But he's not. Well, 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 you're saying when there's one, there's only one. Like, there's going to be a there's going to be a transition of one, and that's the opportunity that Kyrie. Kyrie is looking for. <laughs> I think he's trying to build the resume, and there's nothing wrong for him projecting that and speaking on what his goal is. Does he have a chance? He has a chance because he's, so it's not delusional. He's not delusional, but it's his set of goals that he's no, he telling the you. Earth is flat. He he, he rescinded that oh, comment okay. already. But he's and six, he'll rescind this one too. Go six ahead. time All Star. <laughs> Six-time All-Star, All-Star MVP, Rookie of the Year. Like, he's building that resume to, to, to be able to have that type of reverence in the NBA. He's going to have to get an MVP. He's going to have to get a Finals MVP to be able to put in that context. But I don't think he's delusional, no. I think he's just yeah. speaking what his goals are. Well, I think it's different levels to it, too, though. I mean, be like LeBron in the fact of being a leader, being a captain, being a voice. You can do that. He can definitely do that. Now... He had struggles with that early on, on how to communicate to the younger players. That's something that he's going to have to work on in order to get players to buy into what you're preaching. That's the issue right here I have with Kyrie, is that you throw some things out there in regards to I'm staying in Boston, but now it's like, well, maybe I'm going to wait to the end of the year to see what's best for me. That is not the kind of leadership you want when you want to involve people, because now you're sending mixed signals to your locker room, and that has an effect on the court. So I don't think he's delusional in that fact, but I do believe you have to evolve into that kind of person by playing, by, uh, I think, the things you do on and off the court. You just can't say, I want to be like LeBron. You have to prove that year in, year out on a daily, in a, in, on a daily basis. Until you do that, you don't gain that respect in the locker room. Well, I understand that, but it's, it's unfortunate that we're going to grade Kyrie and his projections of what he desires based on LeBron's results. That's two different but, but, but he, That's he two said, different but, places. But he said LeBron. Because LeBron had missteps. Right, but here's the thing, though. But go back to when LeBron but was Kyrie's age. Oh, here's the thing. If Kyrie never Was he a champion at that oh, age? Wait, but listen. If, no. if, he, if Kyrie never mentioned, I'm, I want to do like LeBron, then we won't compare it. No, he, I'm not mad at the comparison. But, but I'm saying, but he opened the door for us to interpret that in that way. Right. But there was a that. day where no one ever could catch Michael Jordan. When he left the game, he was like, please, who's going to be number two for life? And now there's a conversation, is there, there a 1A, 1B? A, a legitimate there, one? Yes, a legitimate, legitimate one? Look, if you it's don't agree with the conversation, it is legitimate. You can't say that there, LeBron there, is there, getting sung There will by be a legitimate no. one at the end of the day, at the yes. end of somebody's career. I think so. Yes. But I think this is the beginning of it. I don't have a problem with him stating mm -hmm. that, because once you state it, then you hold yourself accountable to it, and you start taking the steps necessary. So if, if he's projecting that and giving that out there, then that means he's going to try to be the guy that you said he has to be on and off the court, the leader, and he has to hold himself accountable oh. as being that type of leader. And I think at 27, he can by building his resume to do that. Mm -hmm. I think I, Ky <laughs> Kyrie, Kevin Durant, they need to remove LeBron from their equation and don't let any of their actions be motivated by the pursuit of LeBron. They're not going to catch him. They're not in position. In terms of, again, when you are the chosen one of a league, and the league decides we're going to ride or die, we're going to live and die with you, we're going to offer you a level of protection and support that no one else in the league is going to get. The, the, Kyrie, Kevin Durant are never going to get that. And, and, and so what, what, when, when I listen to Kevin Durant a lot of times, uh, I hear the jealousy. And again, and, and I'm not saying that as a negative, mm. but he has some jealousy of LeBron and the way LeBron is treated by the media. Man, we and, are forgetting, man. And, and the, again, and I know LeBron had some missteps and was beat up for a while, but overall, over the course, LeBron is a protected species because, again, we all benefit from LeBron's excellence, narrative, and storyline. We all benefit from it. So we all have a vested stake in making sure it remains upright and glorified so that because we all ride LeBron's way. No, That's well, just a fact. Uh, look, I will I'm, never I'm, ride KD I'm invested in the meritocracy Kyrie. of sports. I'm invested in if you're really the king, you got to be the king in all moments and prove that. Look, LeBron at 26 was in Miami, 
losing a championship game to the Dallas Mavericks when people were questioning him as a clutch player, as a leader, and then said you went ring chasing and came up donut. So Kyrie's like, I'm at that point. This is like a track and field reference. Every time you see Usain Bolt break another world record, remember, there's an 11-year-old running faster than Usain Bolt at 11. Will he be Usain Bolt? More than likely, no. But is it crazy to grab that one kid and say, he's got a chance? All I'm saying is he's not delusional because he has a chance. He's the Eight best more years. Kyrie or Kevin Durant you can be. Take your eye off LeBron. <laughs> Coming up, looks like Tristan Thompson won't be keeping up with Khloe, Khloe Kardashian anymore. We get into that and the best and worst of social media. Are you doing that? Next! <laughs>